So thank you again for joining us for the session, New HR Solution Available Now to Manage Vaccination, vaccination and Testing Records. My name is Nicole Schmeider. I'm the Marketing Specialist here at DocuWare, and I'll be moderating the polls throughout the session and moderating the Q&A at the end. The main presenter today will be Rich Moss, Regional Sales Director here at DocuWare. So here's the agenda for our session today. Rich will introduce what is the DocuWare for Vaccination and Testing Management solution. Then he'll go into an introductory live demo so you can see it in action. And at the end, we'll start with Q&A. First, before I pass it to Rich, I want to ask you all a question. So we have a poll question that I'm going to launch for you. And just take a moment to select an, a choice on the screen here. So you should see it now. Are you tracking your employees vaccination and testing records? So there's a few options. Yes, maybe you're tracking it now, but you're doing it manually. Yes, you're doing a mix of manual and digital processes, but it's not really centralized or you know automated. Maybe no, you're not doing it currently, but you're here checking out what you know how the solution can help. And other, feel free to type in the question box any other um, answer you have. So just wait a few seconds to get a majority of the votes in, and then I will share the results. So it looks like you guys are voting. Just take a second now to pick an option on the screen here. All right, I see them coming in. Thank you all for voting. And I will now close the poll and share the results. So close it, share. So you'll be able to see on your screen, um, it looks like right now, um, some people are doing it manually maybe and then a mixture of digital processes and then you can see um you know you're not currently tracking it so you know thanks for taking the time to answer the question and see you know how this solution you can get up and running fast and start uh, managing those records so with that now i'm going to pass it off to rich thanks nicole let me know when you can see my screen <clears throat> Yes, we see the. You can see it. Okay, yep. great, fantastic. Thanks very much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining from wherever you are. Um, as Nicole said, uh, uh, my name is Rich Moss, Regional Sales Director here in the New York Metro area. Um, just a couple of slides before we get started with the demo. <clears throat> so what you're looking at here is the DocuWare user interface, and we'll we'll uh, get into that obviously during the presentation but just wanted to get you familiarized with it. And DocuWare gives you the ability to uh, look, work both with your laptop, with your tablet, also with a, um, uh, with uh, also on your mobile device. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in being able to uh, work with the, with the solution. And for those of you that have never worked or don't know about DocuWare, uh, what it does is it gives you the ability to centrally locate all of your files um, to give access to everybody within the organization through permissions. Uh, and that's an important part of it, to make sure that there are permissions and make sure there is security, uh, especially with what we're talking about today. Let me just go to the next, there we go. Uh, so today, what we are going to show you is our pre-configured solution, uh, DocuWare for Vaccination and Testing Management. And when I say pre-configured solution, what that means is this is a solution that is all ready to download and uh, basically get you going with testing and, and vaccination management within a day and a half. DocuWare as itself is um, a highly configurable solution that can be designed for any of your processes within your organization, whether it's accounts payable or human resources or quality analysis or, you know, or whatever your paper issue is. But we've also created uh, these specific pre-configured solutions uh, to get things, uh, to get you up and running a lot quicker. Uh, so as I said today, this is a more of a human resources focused solution uh, that we will show you. 
So the uh, solution uh, is downloadable. It's uh, available to you in both cloud and also uh, on-premise. And this can be, as I said, this can be up and running in your organization in just a few, in just a, uh, about a day and a half is about all the uh, amount of professional services that it'll take for you to uh, start to start this uh, up and running. Um, this can also be a, a larger part of uh, DocuWare for employee management, which is another one of our um, pre-configured solutions. Um, with that, what that does for you is from the time that you have an open headcount in your organization till the time you bring that person on, uh, that, that is all um, automated processes built into the, doc, into the DocuWare system. And that is, again, a pre-configured solution. And what we're gonna show you today can also be added to that. So it really takes care of your whole human resources department. It gives you the ability to also view um, DocuWare from a third party application. So if you're using something like ADP, uh, you'll be able to be in ADP and also access your information right from DocuWare. So with that, we are going to start the presentation. Uh, so what you're looking at here is the DocuWare user interface. And as I mentioned before, uh, DocuWare is uh, available to you as both an on-premise solution uh, and also a cloud solution. Today, we're, we're dealing mainly with the cloud, but just understand that both of those are available to you. Um, if you don't know, DocuWare has been uh, around for 30 plus years. Uh, at the, right now, we have uh, approximately uh, 18,000 implementations around the globe uh, in 70 different countries. Uh, which equates to about 450,000 users. Uh, so this user interface that you're looking at, uh, when you log into DocuWare, uh, as long as you have an internet browser and you have uh, a connection, uh, you'll be able to access your information from anywhere. So here on the right-hand side is our viewer window. So we open up a document, we get to see it nice and big over here. Uh, over here is our toolbar. So toolbar, when you're opening up a document and you want to be able to print it or you want to be able to email it or annotate that document, that would all happen here in our toolbar. Uh, that would only activate uh, when I have a document open. And then here on the left is where we interact with our documents. Uh, we always start with the document tray. The document tray is like an in-basket on your desk. It's, the difference is it's electronic. And these document trays can be set up for individual use or it could be set up for a group permission. So again, it really depends on what your internal processes are. Uh, we then have our search uh, going to, uh, to be able to go in and find your documents. And we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, we have our lists. Lists you can consider uh, as uh, more of a favorites type of, a, uh, of an interface. Uh, lists uh, figures heavy into today's presentation of the vaccination and uh, man uh, vaccination management. We have tasks if you're a part of a workflow, and we also have forms, which again is another part, a uh, very big part of this uh, presentation. So to start, how do we start the vaccination? Well, the first thing would be to bring in an employee and get them logged into the system. Uh, so that is all done through forms. So when I go into forms, you'll see that these forms are already built. Um, they, can be, uh, they can be tweaked uh, for your uh, specific, uh, specific needs. Uh, that would be done by uh, professional services uh, to, uh, to change them to, to, to fit your particular needs. But again, these are already pre-built. So the first thing we would do is we would click on the new employee. So what I'm gonna do is I took the liberty of filling out these documents beforehand. So we'll uh, go to our new employee. So when we put my, I put my name in here, we put in our first name, last name, email address. Uh, we wanna put in the location. So the location would be office. Uh, if I was remote, uh, I wouldn't even have to go through this because remote would all automatically let me know that this person is not coming into the office ever. So it really doesn't matter for him. But today we're gonna show you this part of it. So we have our office 
and my department would be finance. So all I need to do now is simply submit this. When I submit this, what happens is it will automatically, it will automatically generate an email to me. <clears throat> so if I go into my email, you'll see that it says, I need to create a uh, questionnaire. So the vaccination questionnaire on file. So at this point, there is nothing in the system for, for, for me. So when I click on the link, what's going to open is this document, the vaccination questionnaire. And now I'm just prompted to fill out the specific information in here. We put in the first name, the last name, all the pertinent information that would be necessary. So when we go into the vaccination status, we have, I could be partially vaccinated, I can be fully vaccinated or I'm not vaccinated at all. Uh, this is a dynamic document. So what that means is as I fill this out, depending on the, sp the particular answers I give, it will open up different areas of me to fill this out. But since I chose partially, what it's going to ask me is what was my first dose? So we put all that information in. If I was fully vaccinated, I would put in first dose, I would put in second dose and, a dose, and I would also put in a booster. So we'll put in this information, uh, healthcare facilities, ABC Health. And now what I wanna do is I wanna be able to bring in my particular document that shows that I've gotten vaccinated. Uh, you know, what we hear when we're out there talking to customers is right now this is being uh, managed through Excel spreadsheets and employees are bringing in their particular documents that are showing that they've been vaccinated or they've been tested and these are all going into folders. And what this is doing is this is just keeping it all nice together and also secure. So I'm uh, gonna go in, I'm gonna grab my particular card, my uh, COVID card, bring that in. And now it's attached to my questionnaire. If you happen to have an employee that isn't able to upload that information, they, they may not know how to, or they just don't have the facilities to do that, they can certainly bring that document in. It can be scanned into the system and attached directly to the employee record. One of the questions that comes up quite a bit is, how do we fight against fraudulent uh, documentation? Uh, so unfortunately, DocuWare is not going to be able to uh, to, to be able to handle that for you. But what we do have is when somebody does bring in their documentation, they will be uh, prompted to fill in this information that confirming that the information that they're giving is true. Uh, if it's false information, uh, that's obviously between employee and employer. So we'll click on that and we'll hit submit. So now when I hit submit, this will now go into the system and what we can do is now look at our list. So when we go into the list, you'll see how it's, it's showing me that there's a new entry into the list. So I'm gonna go in and we have our dropdown in our list. So this gives the HR department a very quick view uh, of the status of the entire organization because everybody will be in here you'll have a fully vaccinated employee. So if we go into this area, we can look at Peggy Jenkins. And if I wanted to see her documentation of where she was, uh, of, of, of her uh, vaccination, well, generally what I would do is I would go into my search bar here in DocuWare, but as a part of this uh, pre-configured solution, we've made it very easy. Related documents are right here, right for you to see. And you just click on the employee record, and now what we do is we look at Peggy's information. Here's the questionnaire that she filled out. It's got all the different areas. She's got the three different uh, vaccinations, her first dose, her second dose, and her booster. And we also could see the card that she's got her information all on there. So again, very easy for them to take a look at. If we go to back to our list and we wanna say, see uh, somebody with an exemption, so if this person filled out that questionnaire and put in that they weren't vaccinated, well, we're gonna to wanna to understand why. 
they weren't vaccinated. Again, we can simply go to their related documents and pull that up. Take a look at the document. And when they filled out the questionnaire, they said they are not vaccinated. They don't plan on getting vaccinated. They have an exemption and it's a medical exemption. So we can see up here at the top that there is a second document. And we go in and just go to that second document and we see that he's got a medical exemption. Now, when I filled it out, <clears throat> I put in that I was partially vaccinated. So here's the information that I filled out earlier. And when we go to take a look at my information, well, there's my employee record. And now we want to take a look at my questionnaire and we want to see the card. And I put in a blank card. I didn't, I didn't fill in the information on the card, but the card is there as a part of it. Now, what this is going to do, because I am not fully vaccinated, is it's going to prompt me that I'm going to need to get tested. So this is something that happens automatically. So the, the whole, all the, all the notifications that the employees are going to get, this is all run through the DocuWare workflow and it's all kicked off by emails. So under normal circumstances, this would happen uh, in the middle of, uh, I think it's set to go at 12, uh, 12 o'clock at night that the uh, employee would get notified that they would need to go out and still get tested. So what I'm doing here is I'm just show, I'm just going to kick off that workflow. So when I kick off this workflow, this is called auto index. This is something that you as a user would never do this, but I just wanted to show you what it's going to look like. So I'm just going to kick off that workflow. And what happens when we do that is it is going to generate an email. And when we go into our email, it's going to tell me that I need to get tested. So I will come into, I'll come into that, into work. I'll have this email and I'll be able to look at it. And I'll be able to access one of two forms. If I recently received another vaccination, well, I would click on this link and I would fill out the form with all the vaccination information. Or I would click on, I would click on the other link. Sorry about that. I would click on the other link and here's my test result. So I would go in with my test result. Again, I would put in my information, uh, my date of test. Uh, we'll just put in today's date. I just hit X on my keyboard. X on the keyboard is a hotkey for DocuWare, so it'll actually put in today's date. Uh, if I put in my test result as positive, and I bring in the document that shows that, and we're gonna bring that in. Again, attest to the information being true. And then I hit submit. Well, again, automatically, what's going to happen is this is going to kick off a workflow within DocuWare that I'm going to get sent an email that says I have to I have to quarantine. So when we go back into the email, it's telling me I'm required to quarantine. So this is again, this is all this information is is being done automatically without anybody having to go back in and and track this information. And as you see, an email just popped up that says this employee must quarantine. So this would be going to management. So management would have that information that Rich Moss can't come into the office. When we go in and back into DocuWare and we look at the task, uh, the, ta uh, the list, I'm sorry about that. You'll see quarantined employees. This will pop up in just a moment. It just needs a, a moment to catch up. but. I will be a quarantined employee. So the manager would get this employee quarantine list and they would have an action to say, when was the last date that I worked? We would put in today's date, the date the quarantine works. So we could put in tomorrow's date. And then we would hit confirmed. If we had to put other employees that uh, that I was in contact with, we would simply add them here and then we would just hit confirm. And then that will start that whole uh, quarantine. Now, when setting up this system, uh, as we've seen, uh, things have have been pretty fluid with uh, the different rules and regulations that have been coming out from both state and federal. Uh, originally, it was 14 days of quarantine, uh, but now it's five days. So you can set the system up 
that it will uh, automatically alert the employee that they will need to quarantine for five days or for four days or whatever, whatever it may be. So here's the quarantined employee. We go in, here's Rich Moss, related documents, and it's just saying that I'm now positive and that I need to quarantine and I will be forced to quarantine. So with all this information uh, within DocuWare, again, uh, you have a very quick quick uh, view of what you can and can't do in the, in the system uh, as far as uh, unvaccinated employees and, and be able to, being able to track them. Uh, you know, the, the amount of information that a human resources department is tasked with, who's vaccinated, when were they vaccinated, uh, when are they quarantined, that is a tremendous amount of information that we're finding uh, is really tasking these these various departments with. And uh, by having a system like this, it's going to help them out with that. What's also important to note is this isn't a niche solution that, you know, some of the things that we're, we're seeing today is like those facial scanners when we uh, walk into a building right now and it, we put our face into that and it takes our temperature and uh, it says you, you, you can enter the building or not. When and when when this does pass and we're no longer using it, well, things like that are going to get unplugged and put in a closet. With DocuWare, you still have a full document management system behind you that can be used in accounts payable uh, uh, for a greater use case in your human resources department, um, really in any department within the organization that is generating any kind of paper and that has workflows. Uh, so that is um, that's what we wanted to show you today. It's uh, it's a it's a pretty quick demo. It's um, and I'm going to pass this back over to Nicole uh, to see uh, uh, to open it up for uh, Q and A. Nicole. Yes. Um, thanks, Rich. Just want to make sure um, you got, you can see my screen. I have a poll question I'm about to launch. Yep, I can see it. Okay, great. So um, thank you for the introductory, you know, demo that was great for everyone to see firsthand, you know, how the solution works. Um, so just have a question for you guys. Now I launched it. Now that you saw that, um, what features are you most are most valuable for you, like most excited um, to learn more about the fast imp implementation, the ready to use web forms, uh, quick secure document storage, anywhere, anytime document access, or any other comments, feel free to type them in the question box now. So I'll just wait a few seconds for people to put in their votes here. All right, thank you everyone. If you haven't already, just uh, select one of the choices or more than one choice actually on your screen. So you can see here. All right, uh, looks like we got a good amount. I am going to share the results now. So you can see a lot of people were impressed with the FAST implementation. So, you know, we don't have to wait months going back and forth. We can get you up and running within like a day and a half. I think that's what Rich said. So that's that's definite value there um, with this solution. And that the forms are ready to go, already set with like default options, and that you can access this document anytime, anywhere. You know, your HR team might be spread out amongst different offices, at home offices. So just to have all these features in one and the fact that you can get up and running um, is great. So I just have a few slides to close out before we start with Q&A. Feel free to type in the questions now. A lot of great user reviews on different sites that I'll link to in the follow-up email. Here's a sampling of the different companies and industries that use DocuWare. So 15,000 organizations around the world rely on DocuWare to securely house their documents and automate their most important processes. So I just have some little testimonials here so you can see, um, you know, people, they, they break free of being held back by only using paper-based processes. They're able to achieve more with existing resources and there's a seamless information flow between um, departments, especially now with, you know, hybrid workforces. 
So what's your next move? We hope you move forward, continue the conversation with us. Use this ready-to-go system that can be launched quickly to increase your efficiency. Maybe you're thinking you might create, stick with your own system, but that may be inefficient um, using manual processes and you might be wasting time and money. And like Rich said, this isn't this solution can be expanded into a full HR solution, even be applied to your invoice processing um, and any other document and process heavy uh, departments that need, um, you know, document control, secure archiving, we can expand from, you know, this solution to your whole organization, you know, as you as you see fit. So with that, now I'll officially open it up for Q&A. On the screen, you'll see different ways to get in touch with us and continue the conversation. Contact your authorized DACA partner if you're already working with them to get started. You can request a personalized demo or a quick chat at docuercom slash demo. Or at any point, if you have any questions, thoughts, email us at contact.us at docure.com and we'll get back to you right away. So let's see. Let's open it up for Q&A now. Um, so Rich, I have a question here. Say in a residential care setting, can patients and residents' vaccination vaccination and testing records be tracked alongside employees? Can the residents and patients be kept separate from employees? Absolutely. It would just be a matter of creating uh, different file cabinets for residents and different filing cabinets for um, employees. But yep, answer is Perfect. yes. Um, to complete the web form for the new user, do they need to have a DocuWare license? No, everybody will have access to that link. So that link can be emailed. Uh, you, that link can be set up on an intranet site uh, so they can uh, fill that information in. Uh, also, if you wanted to do a mass upload of employees, you absolutely have the ability to do that as well and upload all employees in, in one shot using uh, a mail merge and everybody would be emailed simultaneously to their various emails. Uh, the link would be there and they would access it that way as well. Got it. Um, another question, can the solution be adjusted to fit customer needs and are there different language options available? So as far as uh, can it be adjusted? Absolutely. Uh, changes can be made to, to the solution. Uh, as far as different languages, uh, as far as I know, it is uh, English speaking right now. Um, Nicole, if we could if we could get that email address, we can definitely get back with a with a more concise answer on that one. Yes, yeah, so you can follow up with our pre-configured solutions team. Um, if you email us at contact.us at docuer.com, we will um, put you in the right direction with that. Um, next question is: Are there vaccination status reports for the company? by location, I guess if you can kind of make the lists a bit more, if you can filter the lists, someone I guess is asking like by maybe they have different office locations and so forth. Sure, I, again, during the setup, uh, changes can be made to the system uh, to fit your particular needs and processes that, that are gonna work for you. So, yep, absolutely. All right, great. Um, someone is asking about, um, let's see. Could you run a report to show the status of the entire organization as a whole? I think maybe that yes. is similar to the first one. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, can the vaccine function be used outside of the HR module, separate from the HR module? Yes. So this is actually sold as a, uh, a standalone. Um, uh, as I said, it's, it is a, it's, it's pre-configured. Um, if you wanted to have it as a part of your HR, it certainly can be. If you want to just have it as a standalone for vaccination and testing management, absolutely, it, it's, it's on its own. Great. Um, can employees fill out the forms on mobile phones? Yes. And um, let's see. People are asking, um, people, some people are asking about the the cost of the solution. So um, definitely reach out to us, definitely reach out to your Docker partner um, or email us and we'll put you in touch with someone regarding the pricing. I see some people asking about that. 
Um, is this only available for a cloud solution or can it be on-premises too? Nope, this can also be used with on-premise as well. Great. Um, is a user license needed for each user entering the exposed employees? The way DocuWare uh, is set up, if you are adding content to the system, so if you have read and write ability, that would be a user license. Uh, if you wanted to have uh, read-only, we also have read-only licenses, but the people that are filling out these forms, the employees, they, they are not required to have a license. But if you are adding information into the system, um, uh, editing, uh, like I said, read and write abilities, that requires a license. Got it. Let's see. And um, again, how long does it take to get this up and running? Say I want to talk tomorrow to someone, talk to a partner or docuer from how long right. does it take to get up and running? You, you sh without any changes to the, without any real changes to the system, uh, we're, we're looking at approximately a day and a half to get this ready and up and running for you. Great. All right. Um, let's see. I don't see any more questions that have come in. Thank you for all the questions um, that were entered Great already. Great yes. Um, so with that, I will be emailing everyone an email later today with the recording, these slides, the handouts. Again, reach out to us if you have any further questions or comments, maybe later today, even tomorrow. At any point, we, we're always checking contact at us at or if you're already working with an authorized um, doctor partner, definitely reach out to them. And if we miss anyone's questions, we'll definitely reach out to you after the webinar. Um, so thank you, Rich. Thank you for taking us through a first look at the demo. Appreciate that. Thank you, everyone, My for your pleasure. time today. Thanks, yes. everyone, for joining. Uh, definitely. And uh, our next webinar will be on February 24th on our DocuWare for Smart Document Control pre-configured solution. So that is a more general document um, archiving access solution. You'll receive an email uh, beginning of February, or you can always register at docuer.com. You'll see the link uh, within the next few days. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Take care, and you'll be you'll be hearing from me. Take care. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.